Hello, this is Delta Tango Mike, and this is a how we do it tutorial short. Today I'm going to show you the steps necessary to join a Discord server drawing session. Let's go. Okay, so let's start with step number one. Join Discord.com. You log into through their browser, create an account. If you need to have a Discord server to join when you create an account, then go ahead and click through the sketching and drawing Discord server link. Once you have created your account, you want to go into discord.com forward slash download and download the Discord app for your device. In this case, for this tutorial, I am working on Windows, but this also is helpful for the Mac version. Once you have downloaded the app, go ahead and open it and make sure as it is installed on your computer. Now, if you have not joined our Discord, make sure that you click through the link to then open that Discord server in your browser. In my case, I have it saved in my clipboard, so I am just going to paste it, hit enter, and you'll be prompted to join or accept the Discord invite. I will go ahead and accept the invite and it's going to ask you if you want to open the application on your computer. In my case, I will go ahead and open it. Now that I opened it, it's starting up and there I am inside my Discord app. I'm going to click on my sketching and drawing server. And you'll notice that you have access to the different text channels where there are conversations already going on. You may come in on the announcements and someone will say that you are here. Congratulations, you're in our server. Next, what you're gonna do is get ready to join the voice channel. I suggest that you have some headphones where you'll be able to hear and get into the conversation. These headphones have a microphone already built in. Uh, you also have options like the gaming, headset that has a microphone and headphones together along with a USB. In some cases, some of these headphones have a headphone jack. The easiest way to jump in on the conversation and make sure that people can hear you is to go ahead and use some earbuds. These uh, earbuds are plugged in through the headphone jack and already come with the microphone. There's a uh, very cheap versions there's the apple versions just whatever you need use whatever you have so that you can listen and get into the conversation once you have the, those connected then we're going to go ahead and try to join you will click on the voice channel for today's drawing session and you'll and it'll immediately discord will connect with your microphone and your headphones. If you want to double check on which headphones you have connected, which microphone you have connected, in my case, I do have a USB microphone here handy. I am going to click on the user settings and check on that under voice and video. In voice and video, I can then check my input device. I have my microphone selected. I have my output device, which are the big speakers. When I'm actually on the stream talking to others, I actually connect some small earbuds so that I can hear what's being said and it's not coming out through my big speaker that can then be heard in my microphone. So that way I keep the sound separated. Scroll down and there it is, video settings. In my case, I have a Logitech 930 that one is selected if you have other cameras installed or OBS uh, or a Canon, etc. then you can check, click on one of those if that's what you want to use. In my case, I'll click the C930. If your computer comes with a webcam, you will see that as one of the options. Now that is done, I escape, hit the escape button or X. And now I can make sure that I join in the call by clicking the name of the voice channel. I can click on the video button down here that says turn on camera and we'll wait one second. Boom, there it is. 
Now I want to share my screen. So let me go ahead and open my application that I'm gonna use to draw with, in this case, Sketchable. There it goes. Boom, it says yes, yes, let's go. Word up, I gotcha. I'm gonna move that over a little bit. Now that I'm in the Discord, I can select my share your screen. If you don't see that popping up, just hover over the video area and you'll see that menu pop up. If not, just go ahead and click on screen over here in the bottom left. Once you click on screen, you have the option to select an application or a screen that you want to share. In my case, my computer has two screens and I can then select which screen I want to share. I will share the screen that has the drawing application that I want to use, or I can just choose the application in case you have only one screen. So if you have one screen, what's gonna happen is that we, you can only see what you're drawing and not the Discord. And that's gonna keep you from seeing what everybody else is drawing. If you're able, then you wanna have both applications on the same screen. So let me go ahead and click on Sketchable. Go ahead and 720, go live, boom, and there it is. Now I can make adjustments to my screen and I can put two applications next to each other. Boom, boom, boom. That's me reaching over for my mouse, which it should have been just right here. And then there is my drawing application. Sketchable, thank you very much. And there it is, my Discord. If you don't want to share your video, no problem. Just click on the video button that's green and it will turn black and now you are not no one can see your webcam only they can, they can only see your drawing and so what do you do now it's time to draw and what you'll see on this discord screen is going to be everybody else's drawings and screens now all it's going to take is a little bit of tweaking to get what you want whether you're using two screens or one screen being able to see everybody else's stream at the same time while you're drawing. Well, play around and see what works best for you. But now you know how to join a Discord server drawing session, specifically sketching and drawing.